Oh, dang. That guy took a shortcut this one and he got through. I lost a life on that one. Today I am going to show you how to use NavMesh modifier volumes to manipulate the Unity NavMesh. This video is part of the devlog series about finishing my first game on Steam. The game is called Creep Wars TD. It's a tower defense game and it's in early access at the moment. My name is Christian Fischer, I am a German engineer and part-time video game developer. Let's start with an introduction to the problem I have faced. In my tower defense game, the unit navigation normally works based on predefined waypoints on the nav mesh. At the start of dev development, I had it that the creeps just calculates the way between each point and then travels along it. There is no AI that searches for objectives, etc. That worked flawless at the, mo at the beginning. But then I had a great idea to add special creeps that skip some waypoints and then I had the even better idea that it would be great to have defense units which use an AI to search and wander around the map. So now that I had to restrict the area where creeps can travel over to prevent them from taking unfair shortcuts, this is where NavMesh modifier volumes came into play. Unfortunately in Unity 2018, yes, I used this old version, this wasn't included right away. So if you are in the same position like me, where you are stuck with an old Unity version, just go to the Git repository and download the files in your Unity project. If you have a new version or found an easier way to obtain the packages, please leave a comment down below. I will add it to the video description. This is the fun map called Oktoberfest. When I enable the nav mesh, you can see that they could slip in between here and then here, here, and go straight to the end of the path. And that's pretty unfair at some points because then, yeah, sometimes you kill a lot of the creeps which spawn the ghosts and you have a lot of ghosts and then they skip most of your defense. To prevent that I already implemented NavMesh modifier volumes in all of the campaign maps and now I will do it here too. To get that working we have to, we have to delete the current uh, NavMesh and then we have to select the terrain and then we have to add a nav mesh surface to the terrain and now from now on we calculate the nav mesh here and not in the general nav mesh tab when we hit bake now it's pretty much the same so now we have to add the modifier volume i did that generally by adding a child object, object and named it navmesh modifier to keep all the, the volumes under one parent and now create the first navmesh modifier volume and here we add the navmesh modifier volume now you can see that there is the volume and we can tweak the size we can, for example, make this like uh, 100 long. This is about the width of the, of the map. And now we can make, let's say, 10 high so that there won't be any issues with, uh, with the height. So that it just blocks everything in the scene so that no creep will climb over anything. And then we make this very small. And if we move it here now, I just have to check that there is enough room that the creeps can pass. And move it there. Now we can, we can define which type of um, modifier volume it will be. And I will choose not walkable because I don't want the creeps to go through this barrier. Uh, maybe it would be nice if the um, 
ghosts can skip a little bit so maybe that they go through here instead of going around it so we move it a little bit more to the side and now we can bake the nav mesh and you can see that there's no nav mesh where the modifier volume was placed and the creep can now skip here but he can skip over there somewhere and we have to make sure that um, they don't walk around anywhere okay so now i will place the modifier volumes in the whole scene and then i will show you the outcome <laughs> Okay, so I guess this level is pretty simple, so we can we can keep that and bake the nav mesh. So now it's pretty clear the creep can only walk through here and has to has to go around this corner and here he can skip and here he can skip. The player has to be careful which tower he places here so probably he should upgrade or build this tower first so that he can always deal damage and yeah, here this tower can can always damage it but yeah you have to maybe you have to learn it in the first uh, try and then restart the level or maybe just one or two creeps escape and then it's just about uh, losing one or two lives and not getting a perfect outcome and as you can also see it's there's no problem when those nav mesh modifiers overlap and yeah so this is a pretty easy way to add some detail you can for example uh, change the modifier volume that it only affects defined agents or you can add new areas maybe some areas which are more expensive to travel over so you can make uh, like swamp areas or snow areas where the, the agents walk slower so that's up to your imagination i will now go through all the other maps where this might be valuable to prevent creeps from skipping certain waypoints and that's it thank you for watching bye just this guy oh but he's strong he's like 500 hopefully you can do some damage there dude yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. as much as you can Oh, he's getting through. I think he's getting through for sure. Yeah, he's getting through. But I mean, I was only on my seven, so I'll finish with a six. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Victory!